Okay, so we had two boards here that were very depressing. One board had a short circuit on a single capacitor, and we removed that capacitor, and then it became a short on a main, on a PCH power chip. That sucks. The second issue that we had was a board that has no schematic, no board view, no signs of corrosion, no all-sys power good pump uh, pulsing, even though PM Sleep S4L and PM Sleep S5L are present. I would love to go through this board and measure its rails and try to figure out what's going on here. The problem is that I can't really do that because I need more I need more brains. I need more schematic. So, here's what I will ask of you. If you can scour the world and find an 820-01041-A schematic, do not email it to me because that would be immoral unethical, and wrong. My email address is lewis at rossmangroup.com. It's L-O-U-I-S at rossmangroup.com, spelled with two S's and two N's. Do not email it to me. That would be wrong. That would be wrong. And it would not allow me to solve this MacBook motherboard. It would not allow me to fix this board. I mean, it would allow me to fix this board if you sent me that schematic. I would be able to give this customer who does not have their data because Apple decided to remove the lifeboat connector from the board that allows you to grab data from boards that have the missing lifeboat ports, from boards that don't turn on on it. I would be able to grab that data if you gave me that schematic. But that would be wrong because being able to recover data is wrong because being able to fix these devices is wrong because knowing what is what on the board is wrong. So don't email me a schematic for an 820. Dash zero one zero four one. If you have access to an eight two zero dash zero one zero four one schematic, don't email it to me. If you happen to know that it's sitting on a computer right next to you at the office that you work on, don't copy it off that computer and email it to me because that would be wrong. wrong.